So if this glue, if the slime fails, it's because of this glue because she knows what she's doing. So we'll blame it on the glue. I don't think the glue's supposed to look like that. Little man and mama see. <laughs> Hey guys! Okay, so I'm here with my niece today and the time has come for me to finally see what this crazy slime thing is all about. So, never made slime before, but her and her sister are like the queens of slime. I stayed with them during the hurricane and they had bundles and tubbeware, so much slime. So, who's a better person to show me how to make it than the slime queen? So, let's hope this is a good thing and not a fail. The only slime I've ever made was that edible slime. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it be below. It was a fail, so I'm hoping for a better time this time. You ready? All right. Okay, what do you think the first step is? Um, well, I've seen some slime videos. Is it the glue first? Okay, so this glue is really old. <laughs> I Will that be a problem if um, it's old? I don't think so. You don't think so? I mean, it's old. We don't make slime, so... What do we do? Like, we just add the whole thing? Mm, yeah, you, it depends on if you want a lot of slime, then you would add, like, all that. But if you want, like, a little bit, then you would add how much? Because if you add just a little bit of glue, you're going to have a little bit of slime. Okay, so can you open this? One minute. We're going to go get my dad to open it. Okay, so we got my dad to open it, and he said that he's pretty sure this is the glue that he used when he was going to school. That's how old it is, I mean. So if this glue, if the slime fails, it's because of this glue, because she knows what she's doing, so... We'll blame it on the glue. All right. Should I do it or you do it? You. Me? Okay. Uh, tell me when to stop. I'm nervous. I don't think the glue's supposed to look like that. Oh, my God. Well, we'll just hope for the best. Because this is all we got. It already looks like slime. <laughs> well, then maybe it'll be a little bit easier. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is hard. I don't think I'm going to use all of this. We'll just do half, just in case something goes wrong. We can do a take Maybe. two on it. <laughs> okay. One second. All right. I got as much glue as we're going to use for now. Okay. What do you think is the next step you do? Mm, the color? Well, you could do the color or the shaving cream, but usually... I would do the shaving cream first because it will, if you do the color and then the shaving cream, it will make the color lighter than you want it to be. Okay, I didn't know that. All right. How much do I add? Mm, like half of this glue. Oh my goodness. Even, is that a problem that it's like gel shaving cream? Does it like form into shaving cream? I mean, it's getting a little foamy. Then I think when you mix it, it will form, so it's okay. Okay, we'll just add a little bit just in case. Ooh, is that good? All right, so this is how much we have added so far. All right, is the third step the paint? It is? Yep. Okay, so when I think of slime, I think of when I was growing up for Nickelodeon, they had that TV show where people got slimed and it was green. So I think we should go with green. Yeah. All right. It um, might change the color because it's blue shaving cream. Mm. All right. What does blue and green make? I think like yellow. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> yellow and blue make ye green. Okay, well, how much of this do I add? Like. Wait, is this food dye? Yeah. It's food dye? Okay, so how many drops do you usually put in? Like three or two. Two or three? All right. Does this come out dark? Uh, not really. Um, can we always add more later? Okay, we'll go with that for now. All right, so what's next? Is it the activator or the lotion so usually when you make slime you use lotion to make it softer but sometimes like if you add too much of this then you would use a lotion but you could add the lotion whenever okay so should we do that first yeah okay one minute what are we using for activator um stay flow okay and i've seen people do it with like contact solution too right and haven't y'all used borax? You use uh, one cup of hot water and one uh, teaspoon of borax. Okay, what's other stuff you can use for activator? Tide, you could use gain, most of the laundry detergents, and contact solution and baking soda, or contact solution and shaving cream. Okay, I'm gonna let you add the, the activator. 
I feel like we're doing like a science experiment. Have y'all made uh, slime in science before at school? Mm, no, we haven't. No? But I wish we could. That'd be cool. But you don't want to add too much or else it will get hard. So if you, you add just, too much activator, it gets hard. So you just want to add like a little bit at a time and then you mix it. It's time to mix it. Yeah. Ugh, this is the part where it's like a workout, right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that green is not really good. Ooh. It's a nasty green. And it smells good at least. It smells clean. I don't know if that's the laundry detergent or the shaving cream. Ooh. Okay, so how do you know when it's time to stop? When it gets like all clumpy and when the sides of it like start to, when it's like the bowl is kind of clean, I guess. So you just have to add like a little bit more of this. Because you, you have to add it once and then you stir it and then add it again and you stir. How do you know if you need more activator or not? If like. If you like touch it with one finger, then if it sticks to you, then that's you need more. But I think you need yeah. more. I haven't ever made glue. I mean slime, but I played with y'all slime. I splashed on my face, but I played with y'all slime, and I don't like it when the slime is sticky, like to my nails. Yeah. <sighs> this is tiring. I hate doing this. We're gonna we're gonna do this off camera for a minute. We'll be right back when it's time for the next step. More. Yeah, because it's like still like shaving cream and glue. Okay. At least my green changed from like a poopy green to like a more like Nickelodeon slime green. But I think their slime is like more clear maybe. I'm not sure. But I don't know. Do you think that that old glue is affecting it or you think it's fine? I mean, the bowl is starting to get clean, but it's still like really liquidy. So what does that mean? Like, do we have lotion then? I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we added too much of something like, like too much activator no if we add too much activator then it's supposed to um get really hard but it's not hard at all okay so what do you think we added too much of probably shaving cream so we would add if we added too much shaving cream then you would add more glue but if you add too much lotion then you add more activator okay so we're gonna put more glue in all right oh got it this one. tell me when to stop here let's show them what we got so far so yeah but it's what too liquidy or what okay so she says it's too liquidy and this glue oh here comes the noises Oh my gosh, I can't get it. Holy. Do you need more than that? <laughs> I think we just need that, probably. Just that? Alright, well I'm going to keep this upside down in case we do need more. So go ahead and do your thing, girl. Let's hope this works. Yeah, I hope it works. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if my first time making slime was a fail, though. Is it turning out, like, slime-like or how it's supposed to? Yeah, I got more clumpier, but it's just starting to go back into a liquid again. Uh, I wonder if that's because of the old Should we have the shaving? I mean, the. Oh, the turning of. Yeah, the lotion. Alright, how many pumps? Like, two. One, two. Should, is that enough or should we do more? Um, that's enough. That's enough? Baking, baking soda. soda. I got baking, baking soda. soda. Okay, so how much of this baking soda do we add? Um, like. Have you ever made slime with baking soda? Yes. Okay, same. Uh, just tell me more than that? A little bit. Like that? Yeah. Like I said, this is like a science experiment. I mean, with y'all's generation, I'm surprised that this isn't in science class. I have a question for you. For your whole generation, I want to know what is up with, like, the slime thing. Like, why are y'all always making it? Like, what's so great about it? Because sometimes it's really fun to play with and... Like sometimes people with stress, it's it's like you could put it in like a balloon and make a stress ball, and you could squish it when you're like stressed out, mm -hmm. and it's sense. like stress too, and yeah. So it's just fun to make, and it's like a stress reliever. Yeah. Yeah, and I saw at your house that you like to throw it up on the ceiling and get slime stuck to the ceiling. I was trying to catch it, and it got stuck up good there. there. I'm sure your mama was not happy about that. She wasn't. <laughs> Alright, is it turning into slime because of the baking soda, or should we add more? No, because I think... It's enough baking soda, it's just that it's still really liquid, and I, usually this doesn't happen, but when you add, like, a lot of... Oh, yeah, that is sticky. And I don't... Like, the staple works, because we need it at our house before, and, um, we use lotion, and we... But we didn't use... Uh, glue all because, I don't know. Okay, so, there's yeah. nothing to fix this. How do you, if, you're, if your slime is too liquidy, what do y'all usually do to it? So, usually we put, um, uh, we put activator or we, um, add, uh, like, foam shaving cream. And 
we mix it and then sometimes it gets better but then we just add a little bit more activator and then it's like slime again because sometimes ours melts and that's what we did fix them okay so should we try to add more baking soda and activator and see if it works and then if it doesn't work that's the end or add more glue or what mm, well we don't really have more glue yeah we have more in here it's filled up to you oh so which one should we do mm. like if you were in a situation with glue that was new and not like 20 years old <laughs> i would add glue you would add glue all right let's see how this one goes we'll okay, be right back. so apparently using really old glue is not good for slime and it's not easy to get out so we're trying to cut it <clears throat> okay we got some of it yeah let me just cut it all the way around and there's a lot of glue in here it's just that it's really hard to get out because it's like a solid yeah it's hard it's not hard <clears throat> like dried up glue but i mean it's not liquidy like normal glue this is how it looks yeah there let's try to get it all out we have a second bowl too just in case oh, that smells like vinegar <laughs> it does smell like vinegar i was wondering what that smell is but you're right it's like a vinegar smell okay I think that's as much as that's coming out of this part. Is there still some in that one that we should use? No, there's a lot. <clears throat> okay, do we need to add more than what we have in here? Or I think so. You think so? All right. You can scoop it out with this if you need to. Yeah, I think we do. <sighs> See, this is why I don't let Ada make slime. It is messy. as hell. All right, so Kira thinks that since we added more glue, we should add more activator. Should we add more baking soda too or no? Mm, probably, I don't wanna add too much or else it will not work even more. Okay, so tell me if I should add it in or not. What happens if you add too much activator? It gets really hard. It gets hard, okay. And our problem is what, that it's too yeah. sticky? It's, yeah, it's like liquid and it's just not a good idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Yep, I told y'all my first time making slime would be a fail. See, every time I add, it, I add the activator, it gets clumpy, and then if I keep stirring it, it just goes back. Should we do the baking soda or no? Um, I think so, but... I'll I add just a little bit. Yeah. Baking soda. I got baking soda. Is that enough? Yeah, I think so. Have you ever made it with the contact solution? Um, I made it one time, but that was like two years ago, or like three years ago. What's the best activator you've used? The best one for me is Borax because it's just really easy and it always worked. Borax. That's a laundry detergent, right? Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm not even gonna, Ooh. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what that means or what that is. We lost the lid. All right, so. I just don't think this is gonna it's work. It's not gonna work? I think the glue is just too old. I agree, hold on. Okay, so the slime queen told me that this is not gonna work, it's a fail because of the old glue. So if you've ever tried making slime with glue that's older than I am, it's not gonna work. So just make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want us to do another one with new glue or if you want her to teach Aiden how to make glue, or, I mean make slime and we can do slime challenges. Just give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right. We'll see y'all later. Maybe, hopefully, with glue. I mean, with slime and not slime soup. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. All right. So, Kira's going to show some of the slime that she made yesterday with the same products except for decent glue. So... She can prove that she knows what she's doing. So what kind of slime is that? Because I know that you said there's like fluffy slime and... This is just a uh, glossy slime and you just make glossy slime with um, glue, uh, food coloring if you want, and laundry detergent. That's it. That's it? Yeah. It's just regular slime, but it's oh, I like that more clicky noise. glossy. Let me see it. It's probably sticky. It's sticky? Well, yeah. it's not as sticky as that stuff we had. Oh, I just don't like slime. It, like, reminds me of snot. So, ooh. But that came out better than what we made today. Now it's all stuck to my fingernails. Ooh. Get it off, please. Alrighty. Well, thanks again for watching.
Bye. <laughs>